Hey guys, it's Carnivore Kip, and man do I have some exciting news for y'all today. This is actually going to be the biggest thing that I've ever done since I started my carnivore diet journey, so let me tell y'all about it in today's video. I'm hosting my very first barbecue meet and greet. I love to talk with y'all carnivores and I love to get to know subscribers through the comments and all that stuff, but it's time to do it in person and this is going to be totally free for you guys. Uh, it's something that me and my wife, we've been thinking about, we want to do. Uh, it's totally free. We just want y'all to come and have a good time and let's cook barbecue. I'm going to probably do brisket and pork butts and I might do something else. And then, of course, if anybody wants to bring any little of their special dishes, you can. I've got people flying in. Someone's already mentioned they're flying in from Seattle. A couple different people have said they're coming from different places. So y'all let me know. Actually, what I'll do, I'll drop a description in my description of this video. I will drop a link that you can click on that link and sign up and let me know if you're coming to the event. It's going to be in South Alabama. The, ad the address and all will be listed in the description of the video in that link. So go check it out. We had initially planned this event for March 30th of this year, but then we realized someone reminded us, hey, that's Easter weekend. So we had to move it from March 30th to April 6th, which is just a week later, but we moved it to April 6th. And so I want to make sure y'all are aware of that. But also what's cool about that is on April 6th, we were able to get a nicer venue for the event. It's actually going to be held at a wildlife reserve and there's going to be picnic tables and like a, a covering. There's going to be restrooms nearby. There's going to be a place where if you want to, you can bring swimming clothes and you can go swimming at the creek. Uh, I don't know if you've ever done that, but it'll be April 6th. So, I mean, it'll be cold, the water will, but you can definitely swim. There'll be people there swimming for sure. If you want to walk while you're there, if you want to fish while you're there, there's plenty of opportunities to do that. There's a lot of ponds in that area. It's just going to be fun. And the event will most likely start at 11 a.m. that day and uh, go on just until we're done. We're hanging out and stuff. But what's cool about that place is if anybody wants to camp there, you can rent little spots to, to camp in a tent or you can bring an RV and park there. I mean, there's just stuff for everyone. The town that I'm in is Atmore, Alabama. So if you're coming to the area and you want to fly, you would probably fly into Pensacola, Florida, because that's like 50 minutes from Atmore. So you would probably fly to Pensacola and then get a rental car or something like that. Also, if you're looking for a hotel, then you would uh, probably want to search in the Atmore area. Just search Atmore Alabama Hotels and just see what you can find. I know there's a Holiday Inn Express, there's a Hampton Inn. Wind Creek Casino is here in Atmore and I don't know if you like to gamble and stuff, but they, there's a casino here and there's they have hotel rooms there. They're, those are nice, but those are a little bit more expensive, those hotel rooms. My wife reminded me that if anyone wants to make a little mini vacation of it, that we're only like an hour to an hour and 15 minutes from the beach. You have Pensacola Beach, you have Gulf Shores, you have Orange Beach, all that stuff is driving distance. So if you wanted to come to the event, but then stay at the beach for the weekend or stay at the beach for a whole week if you want to, I mean... Come do it because I know some of you guys are in different parts of the country and you don't have access to the beach anytime you want. So guys, I'm really looking forward to this event and I hope you guys will let me know if you're coming because like I said, it's a free event, but I need to get a head count. That way I know how many briskets, how much pork butt, and I'm going to bring my big Shirley probably, my big smoker and fire it up and uh, cook some delicious meat for y'all. And I do use more than just salt in my rubs. I use uh, salt, pepper, garlic. I use cayenne pepper, paprika sometimes, things like that. But I have, I have already stated before and I will state it again. If you are someone that only has salt, 
I've had at least one person tell me that so far and I will make a special brisket just for those people or however many I need for people that only eat salt because that's not the way that I eat brisket so that's not how I'm making it for me so but for people that only eat salt I will make a specialty brisket just for you to where you can just have salt on your meat. A little side note, I was too busy to film my four week update video over the weekend. So I decided to, instead of doing my four week weigh in, that I would just hit a 30 day weigh in. So I should have my 30 days or one month of BBB and E in just a few days. And once I hit that, then I'll do like a weigh in and I'll do my measurements and all that stuff. So be looking out for that video in the upcoming days where I can get my updated measurements from one month and then I might take some progress pictures to see if there's a little difference in a month's time of BBB and E. And if you guys can't tell, I'm super excited about this event. I genuinely mean that. And what's really special about it to me is the wildlife reserve that we're having it at is owned by my Native American tribe, the Porch Creek Indians. So, I mean, it's a part of our history. Y'all getting to see the location and get to learn a little bit about where I come from. And if you wanna know, learn anything about my tribe while you're here in uh, Atmore, Alabama, where our Indian reservation is, you can take a little drive through there and check out our reservation. I'd appreciate that if you did it. But of course you don't have to. And then if you if you come in on Friday, our cultural center is here and you can learn a little bit about our Native American uh, culture here in South Alabama. One tip that I could add coming to the event, it not of course not if you're flying, but if you're driving uh, and you want to, you could bring some lawn chairs. I know there's picnic tables and I'll bring my lawn chairs and things like that, but uh, Anytime you have extra seating at a place like that, it's great. So if you if you don't mind, if you have lawn chairs, if you don't, don't worry about it. But if you do, bring the lawn chairs and uh, we can have those there too and that would be great. I'll bring ice and drinks and all that stuff. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And if you guys have any ideas of things that you'd like for us to do, maybe something as a group or a mini group or something while we're there, let me know. Um, something that, I mean, there's pretty little walking trails there. If some of y'all want to band together and take a carnivore walk or anything like that, I think that would be cool. If we took a lap, you know, together or took a little walk or just, or if you want to go swimming at the creek or if whatever you want to do, you can bring swimming clothes if you want to. This is about having fun, eating barbecue, getting to know each other on a more personal level. I think it's going to be a great time. So please, please, please don't forget to go down to the description of this video and go to where the barbecue event is and click there and let me know if you're interested or if you're wanting to come to the event or if you just want to find out details about the event. Real quick, April 6th, 11 a.m. It's going to be in Atmore, Alabama at a wildlife reserve. All the de details is in that link, so go check it out. And I wanted to say thank you to an anonymous subscriber that sent me an ice maker. And you're thinking, an ice maker? The reason I needed an ice maker is because our ice maker in our refrigerator quit break or it broke. And as you guys know, refrigerators are expensive. So we just needed a new ice maker. So someone actually donated one to us. Thank you so much. And they also sent a clamp for my gimbal. And I'm trying to figure out how to use that now. I still got to tweak the adjust and adjust it a little bit. A chest mount for a GoPro that I had put on my wish list. Someone sent the chest mount so that I can ride my bike and have it mounted on my chest. I think that will be cool. And then uh, that person also sent me, it was Paulette Hasty. She also sent a book for my daughter Abigail. It wasn't even on my wish list, but me and my wife were sitting uh, last night talking about how how amazing it was that she sent that even though um, it wasn't even on my wish list and she was still thinking about my daughter Abigail. 
stuff like that's special to me. You know, my daughter, she's fixing to be two years old uh, in like a, two weeks. And for people to think about her, thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Uh, and I can't wait to read that book to her. So anyway, guys, that's the update for now. I hope to see y'all all at this carnivore barbecue meet and greet. I think it's going to be a great time. And I love all of you guys. And like I said, it's totally free. Uh, and I appreciate all you guys do for me. I appreciate all of y'all checking out my wish list, checking out my buy me a coffee and supporting my channel. I love you guys. God bless.